Alright everyone, welcome to episode 3 on the Eureka server. It's been a while, but uh, here we are again. Uh, we've done some stuff in the past couple of days. Uh, we had a few events. Uh, since the last time I recorded, I think we went to the end? Or that was before the last time. But I know for a fact we had a scavenger hunt event, a uh, live stream event uh, that just went up, I believe, the day before yesterday. Uh, we live stream occasionally on uh, twitch.tv slash powered eureka. Uh, it'll be in the description below, or I put an annotation in uh, right now. <laughs> Anyways, so, uh, this whole week is devoted to Sir Jacobite. Um, well, not, not quite so much, so much devoted to exactly him, but to a village event. Basically, what he's planning to do is take zombie villagers and convert them into normal villagers by healing them, bringing them up to the surface, and creating a large community-based village build. Um, he wants to, I guess, uh, in, a, in an easy way to uh, explain it, it's like bring, bring your own ideas, bring your own material project-based things, where you construct houses or, or monuments that obviously uh, is indicative to uh, the breeding of uh, of testificates. So I'm assuming that all the buildings, even if monument, even if it's a monument, will have to have a door. But uh, but yeah, he he's planning on making this a kind of a conglomeration of unique buildings on your personality rather than functionality. For example, the spawn is all about functionality. Getting your items in order, getting your your skills in order and in line to start playing, basically. Um, people are slowly starting to move out of spawn, but uh, at the same time, because of the community events we're having, it's still pretty damn active. Let's see what he says. I was looking at the... A game that would be cool for you to cast it. Let's play for the channel. All right, <laughs> I'll take a look at that game. Hold on, let me tell him. Oh, oh. All right. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So I'm at his house now. This is about a thousand or so blocks away from spawn. So he is the first person to actually make the first move out of spawn um, from a little hovel in the ground to this magnificent I, I guess you would call it uh, a, a mansion I suppose it's coming to side here <laughs> huge sheep farm there multicolored sheep I don't know what he's gonna plan to do with that but uh, smelting some stone up in here let me go get uh, get it not quite done yet but uh, I'm gonna need them as much as possible for what I'm building. I basically came here with a with a a full inventory full of items, <laughs> and I knew that uh, all I needed to do was build something with spruce wood because that is abundant in the area of the spawn. So I'm trying to figure out this. I guess sort of multi-level house design where I can put multiple doors in and some rooms in there, very small rooms, so villagers can can breed. Uh, so far, this is what I've come up with. So, ooh, let's see how it goes. What do you say? Okay, I'm sorry. All right then. <laughs> No staircase yet up to the upper level, but uh, actually I don't know where to... I might as well do it right now, actually. Plan out an area where to put the staircase. Hmm. Ah, the stair up here. Roof is not done yet, but, but uh, then again, most of this is not complete. Uh, what will I use for... Uh, let me get some birch. Birch stairs. Um, so yeah, episode three, man. Unbelievable. This, to be honest, I didn't know whether or not in the first episode, if you remember, I wasn't sure if I was going to continue a server, uh, let's play. I was telling someone, uh, the whole story goes, I was telling uh, one of the members, earlier members, who's still on, that, uh, I wasn't sure whether I was going to continue doing this or not. Uh, but you know what? 
it's fun. It it lets me get my ideas out, and uh, you know, it gives me something to do. <laughs> but anyways, uh, let's see. Yeah, that okay. That staircase. Yeah, that works. Okay, it's this. I, the whole point of this build is not interior decorating. It's a, it's just having something to look out at the, at the at the exterior, uh, hiding the fact that this is going to be probably a large slave villager operation. <laughs> Oh god, this is... oh, this is terrible. Okay, how much stairs do I have on our... okay, I have 14 stairs, that's not gonna be enough. How much stone? Eh, I have a bit. Let me convert that into... stone bricks. Organize that. Okay, and we go down, we'll just make some more staircases. Um, like I said, this entire week is devoted to it, but that doesn't mean that we're not going to have any other events uh, I'm only saying this because the practically the viewership of this video are people inside the server already. So, hey guys, <laughs> how are you doing? Um, but I know there are, there are a few people who are not on the server who do watch it. But, yeah, this whole entire week is devoted to him. Uh, I'm still planning on having that, that arena finished. It's just, it's, it's very time consuming. And it's it's something that I really want to do, but at the same time, there are so many aspects of it that I'm very unsure of. I don't know exactly how I want the, the track on the upper level to look. Uh, I've got to work on more of the redstone workings, uh, behind the scenes, kind of. Uh, I have this whole elaborate uh, input computer system for an automated track on the upper level of the arena, but I haven't quite... <laughs> figured out how I'm going to make the the redstone contraption right now. I know a little bit of uh, of what I want to do. I want it to be able to have a, a key code punching system. Uh, basically, like if you remember uh, the Apollo space program. Uh, basically, what they had was a, a like a, a a numerical. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Well, zombie is not very interested. <laughs> uh, a numerical base system, I think it's four digits that you enter in as a noun or a verb. Basically, they're number-based words, and they're commands for the computer. For example, like, um, let's say they wanted to set a heading for a specific area of space. They'd punch into the computer, okay, set set heading, which probably is a, is a string of numbers, like, I don't know, like 1401 or something, uh, and basically, the computer will say, "Okay, this this word means heading. Now give me uh, this is a verb. Let me now give me a noun. Uh, where exactly is this place? Then you punch it and you enter it, uh, and the command codes will load out, and the computer will basically translate it and well set the course and de destination. This is exactly what I want to do for the horse track, tra horse trace, horse track. Uh, not exactly the part of." Um, uh, navigation, but in the fact of, of automation, basically. I want to be able to have this sophisticated system, yet still automated enough to the point where I can say, okay, anybody can come into the, the arena, punch in a few digits that are, uh, you know, posted up on a sign or something, and say, okay, I want to set up for this many laps, and I, wanted, I want to accomplish uh, this many... Uh, I guess you would call it obstacles, a certain amount of obstacles in sequence. So you would punch in the digits, you would say, okay, uh, make this first round hurdles, make this second round, um, I don't know, dispenser, jousting, something. But you get the point. I want to make sure that people can still have the ability to start punching in the, the key codes and without having the system break down <laughs> and be too complicated. So... It's going to be a lot of work to try to get that in. Whew, but I figure it is good training because it is no secret to some people on the server that I do want to start working on adventure maps. I have the extreme urge to work on adventure maps. I do have many, many prototype incarnations of redstone systems. Oh, if you blow up on me. Okay, thank God. Whew. I literally just like I don't know <laughs> my heart stopped and this enderman sound is not helping 
Okay, I need to get real food. I'm gonna steal some of his Jacob's uh, <laughs> crops. I hope he doesn't mind. Okay, what was I talking about? Crap, adventure maps, yeah. I do have a few prototype map uh, designs that were basically kind of uh, a showcase of redstone ability, meaning that it is only proving to myself that I have the, the capability of doing the adventure maps in some sort of quality like Hypixel or Vex or things that the people like that who are big names in the adventure map world. I want to make sure that it, it at least meets that kind of standard of Minecraft uh, enjoyability because you don't really... The problem is that there, there are many adventure maps out there, hundreds of, if not thousands of adventure maps out there for, for people to play basically, but there are very few really good ones where you can say, I'm going to play that again, let me subscribe to this person on um, this forum and monitor when he comes out with the rest of the map because I want to play all the incarnations. Anything he has to make, I want to play it. That is very, very difficult to find on the forums. I mean, YouTubers, big YouTubers, usually cover these adventure maps. Uh, one in particular... Uh, map that is usually played are the CTMs and Herobrine's Mansion, things like that, which is all quite, quite amazing. That when I first saw Hypixel's maps, it's just, it blew my mind away. It's like this, he basically created kind of the, like a 90s RPG feeling in, you know, in a Minecraft world. And this, it, I mean, who would ever thought that using command blocks and, and spawners and MC edit that you can create these fully, fully automated um, like tracking systems where you can have mobs spawn in proximity, uh, invisible creepers uh, that, that are flying on bats or something, and uh, or chickens or something, whatever. But you get the point. It's like this totally remarkable thing from... It, it's, it's, I, I guess the word for it is that it's... it's um, Innovative. It's very innovative. Uh, I don't think even, you know, the creators of Minecraft, uh, well, creator, Mo um, Notch, or just Mojang as a whole, can, can ever have, you know, come up with this idea in their, in their brain that people will take it to this extent. As, as did, uh, Hypixel and, and Vex with his, uh, CTMs, which is, which is, um, more on the side of, uh, Using the vanilla-based game where you don't don't have um, to exact you don't have to use MC Edit in some of these maps, but the good ones you would use MC Edit to make these large caverns and uh, big uh, mountains and and whatnot. But I've seen some of them who've used just a natural-based seed to to have a complete the monument which is at the same time still very 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 cool um but yeah that it's just it, it's totally it's totally unbelievable so i i took it upon myself to try to really really try to see if i can sort of i guess take inspiration from what uh, vex and hypixel have done with the these sort of um uh large and vast maps with these intricate redstone systems. If you've ever played a high pixel map and looked underneath the the ground, uh the the main play area, you can see like heart and soul poured into this map because you've got to make these large large elaborate systems just to make a single event. Let's say, for example, you want to have a mob boss that appears across a bridge. You've got to set up this whole, you know, proximity uh, villager uh, spawner. Then he st the villager steps on a pressure plate. It then triggers redstone to send out and say, hey, uh, spawn this particular type of mob uh, uh, in this specific coordinate. Just for something simple like that. Holy cow. It takes hundreds and hundreds of, of probably hour, uh, hours, really, hundreds and hundreds of hours for uh, Hypixels to figure all of that stuff out. I, I'm, you know, I, I'm probably 
I don't want to insult him about it, but he probably took short of that, actually. Uh, it's just really amazing. I, I don't know how much I can ex express that. I think I've, I think I've expressed it too much at this point. Uh, but yeah, the, 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 at, at the end of the day, the moral of the story is that I want to start working on some adventure maps. Uh, I'm not going to release the style of the adventure map yet, because I think by having it a surprise to some people on the server, that'd be kind of interesting to see how they react to it. I would like them to play, too. Uh, they might be guinea pigs and <laughs> be the first people to play my horrible, horrible adventure maps. I'm already, like, <laughs> demeaning myself. But, uh, you know, the first, the first ones that I make are obviously not probably not going to be the best of the best. I just made more stairs and I realized I just completed the roof. Well, that... <laughs> that sucks. Okay. Let me take a look what it looks like outside one more time. I don't know. It looks alright. The front looks a bit plain, though. What can I do to spruce that up? Hmm. Hmm. Fences? Uh, yeah, let's try it. Let's try making some fences. I was going to use oak wood to uh, line the thing, line the roof up there, but I'm not too sure. But I'll, actually, I'll try that first before I do anything in the exterior. <laughs> okay, I, I make a whole speech about how this is not supposed to be like, oh, make a fabulous interior design. This is more of the exterior, uh, outward facing thing. But you know, I really want. <laughs> I at least wanted to make it look presentable. Okay, let's see. This is going to be probably like a vaulted ceiling. Okay. Oh, that's not how I want you to go. Thank you. That. Oh, wait a second. Maybe that is how I want you to go. Hold on. Uh-huh. Oh, that gives a nice edge there. I like that. Okay, let me keep that. Maybe I can do it for that one as well. Let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, I like that. I like how it uh, rounds about that corner there. That's good. Okay. Do it for the rest of it. No, you don't go there. Okay, pull over here. And over here. Okay, guys, I'll bring you back when I have this uh, done. Alright, I'm back. I've gotten a little bit things done here. Um... Right now, I'm just going to make some doors, and I will put it on the inside of the house. Actually, let's make this a two-wide door. Um, the more doors we have, the better. Encourage the breeding to happen. Okay, that works. Oh, we have a source there still, good. Put that up on the roof. Um... Hmm. How do I want to do this? Let's take a look. Oh, hmm. Actually, let's... Let's do this. And this. And this. Wow, what happened to... Oh, crap, I just... I was just thinking, what happened to all the spruce wood, and I, I remember I just used them all. I'll just use slabs for now. Okay. That's not going to be good. Take that out of the ceiling. Very good. Boop. And bring it down. One more level. There we are. Double door this. Whoa, I didn't hear that. I guess that uh, doors don't have um, placing sounds anymore. Or did it ever? I don't remember. Anyways, let's come down here. Oh, is it night? Yep, it's turning night. Let's uh, head back into Jacob's house and uh, head to sleep. Uh, but yeah, did a little uh, work on the exterior. Just <laughs> fences up there. I'm not too certain how I want it to look. I... The design that I'm deriving it from, that I've done before, needs spruce wood logs, but I don't want to use logs right now, so I'm going to keep it very simple, very basic, uh, get it working, um, have some villagers living there, and then maybe later we'll, we'll do some little polish up work when we come back. 
uh, the people on the server are going to be building houses, hopefully. Hopefully they are. I'm looking forward to see what what kind of builds they have. Uh, Sharis is a very interesting builder. He uses a unique style, it looks like. Uh, I'm <laughs> kind of wondering what he's going to come up for design. Let's, okay. Let's take one more look on the outside. Yeah. You know what? It doesn't look half bad. It looks pretty good, actually. I, I'm alright with it. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it. Could be better, but... Uh, it works. Oh, wait a second. This is, um... We can just put doors here, can't we? Uh, one here. And one there. Take that out. Torsion there. And a torsion the corner. Let's... Let's use stone brick. That, that'll look like it fits. Whoops, that's not where I want it. There and there. Hmm. Okay. So this house has a total of two, four, six doors. Hmm. That should, uh, that should help with the breeding. Yeah. I actually kind of like it. It's not too bad. It's, it's kind of plain on the outside, but, uh, you know what? It looks good. It, it looks like a, a decent structure, I do have to say. Uh, that's pretty good for, what? <laughs> Winging it from doing nothing? <laughs> okay. Look at his damn horse with his damn diamond armor. He found so many dungeons with so many records and name tags and armor and things like that. Bastard. Okay. Did I leave anything in the furnace? A bit of food. Okay. I actually want to go see what's uh what's out here. I'm not quite certain whether or not uh, he's explored a bit out here, but let's go take a let's go take a little walk and, and talk. <laughs> Okay, so, anything server-related for updates? Uh, today is July the 8th. Actually, I might have to say that in the beginning of every video. Uh, yeah, so today is July the 8th, so this upcoming week I'm planning on purchasing more RAM for the server, uh, bumping the server up to about 6 or 7 gigs of dedicated RAM, uh, see how that goes, let people explore and do, do the things they need to do. Uh, we're, we are on the 1.6.2 snapshot. The only reason why we're on, on a snapshot is because A, they have become tremendously easier for people to install via the new launcher, which by the way is fantastic. It's very simple and clean. There's no need for textured GUIs and things like that. It, it, or backgrounds rather. It, it, this, it works the way it, it is and I like it. <laughs> um, and plus, you can have multiple profiles and whatnot, which is which is nice. What else? Uh, what was? Oh yeah, uh, the, and B, because the 1.6.1 official update is extremely buggy as hell. At least for us, anyways. We had baby uh, mobs despawning out of the chunk. We had people experiencing high packet. Um, a high packet amount request, I suppose. Uh, basically, the clients were requesting too many packets, and the uh, and the server was distributing so many packets that Java, I think Java might have a, a a safety net that says, "Okay, hold on, let's stop this flow of packets, let's dis disconnect the client, so we don't cause any damage to the network and whatnot." Uh, that's pretty cool that they have it, but at the same time, it bogs down the server tremendously. Uh, I've talked to some of the people on the server, especially Sharis. Um, I'm not sure whether or not I was talking to Fraser at that time, uh, but uh, they both agree that they, their performance, or at least Sharis agrees that their performance have at least doubled with this new snapshot. Um, I'm not saying the snapshot is totally great yet. It still seems like it's still resource intensive for servers to use, but uh, I kind of expect that for the features that they're that they've come up with with the baby baby zombies and the pigmen baby pigmen uh the new tracking mechanic mechanic from like hundreds of blocks away with the with the, the uh, zombies it's like for god's sakes <laughs> getting used to to the old zombies now all of a sudden you got a, a zombie apocalypse on your hands um as you saw in the horse hunting video but uh yeah it is very 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 
difficult to play with the 1.6.1 1. uh, update. It was actually near impossible to play. Some people were having issues where that they would get so many overflows by being so far away from spawn because their client is requesting information about the new, newly generated chunks that they're at. It was basically crashing their clients, disconnecting them. Uh, so with that in mind, I went forward and, and said that, okay, we're going to move to the snapshot. Uh, they've, done, they've done a ton of bug fixes. So, And since we've been doing it, we, we've been really having no problems other than maybe the occasional, you know, uh, spike of lag because someone is generating a chunk 3,000 blocks away. But that's... I pretty much expect that. Um, when you have five people going in different directions, you, you it's like... Um, Tugging on someone's limbs, it's it's painful for the server to go through, but uh, it it's slow. The, the server's still chugging along. I'm still gonna put as much RAM as I can possibly stuff into there. Um, it's a dedicated box I have. Uh, I'm hosting myself, so oof. Let's see what happens. Anyways, oh I need oh whoa, let me watch my uh, hunger bar. Jeez, getting distracted while talking to you guys. Okay. Yeah, that's not. There's not too much out here. There's a, there's a small forest, pretty big, big plain here, but no, no um, horses that I can see. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Sorry, I'm getting a, I'm getting a weird message from uh, Skype. Uh, trillion, actually. I use I use a trillion as a as a uh, chat client to manage all of my um, accounts, I suppose. So I can I can simultaneously be on Skype and Twitter and Facebook and whatnot and at the same time not be interrupted interrupted with all of them by having them in different windows. Um but the, for the, for some reason that time it popped up. I don't know why. Oh, the sun is setting. Let's go back quick. Let's not die. Okay, this episode is going to run on a little bit long, but uh, I figured that uh, you know, just just some some things that happened in the server so far. Uh, today I might be live streaming. Uh, again, it's at the time of this recording, it's about 10 a.m. Uh, if I do the editing directly after, uh, I'll get it done by maybe about 11. Uh, well, it's 10.18 now, so yeah, it'll be about 11 o'clock that I'll finish editing. Uh, rendering, that's for half an hour. It's a, I have an upload speed that allows for a one-to-one -one ratio, so uh, for every minute is a minute uploading. Uh, so this episode is probably going to be about half an hour, half an hour, and five long. So with that in mind, I've got to account for that. So 11.30, I'll say about 12 o'clock, about lunchtime, Eastern Standard Time, this will be going up. Uh, 6 p.m. Uh, Netherlands GMT plus one, and 5 p.m. GMT. So around... Uh, Around tea time for some of you guys, for the U UKers or uh, Netherland peoples. Let's hop back here and take a look around. It'll leave anything I don't want to leave. Nah, I'll keep that stuff. There. Actually, you know what? Let me take a look what I brought in there. I might have brought some extra tools and whatnot that I want to keep with me. Eh. Yeah, I'll take that. And the, the iron. Some birch in there. Ah, yeah, that, that stuff is not important. Take one last look at this house. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Come back a little later and uh, do some cleanup work on that. But, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this episode, everybody. My name is Justin. Not Kaz, because Kaz, I think he might be sleeping right now or working. Uh, anyways, I'll see you tomorrow, actually. <laughs> later, today. Wow, okay, that's the first time saying that. I'll see you later today. Take care, everyone.